check this out. We've got a huge wood frog egg mass here. And around the edge, we've got all of these eastern newts totally destroying it. They're eating all the eggs, all the developing little wood frogs over here. Early spring can sometimes be a difficult time for those who enjoy the outdoors. We're in between hunting and fishing seasons right now, and many of the reptiles and amphibians are still inactive. On the first few warm sunny days, I like to get out and try and shake the cabin fever. Now when I get out, I usually look for a lot of amphibians. One of the creatures I find regularly on these warm sunny days are one of these. Small eastern newts. The eastern newt tends to be very small, olive green in color, and has red spots on its side. When it's young, they are usually bright orange and spend most of their time on the land. And then when they mature into adults, they return to the water. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let this eastern newt go. But what we're really looking for in the spring is what left these eggs behind, the spotted salamander. Now to find the spotted salamander, we've got to catch them when they want to move. Most of the time, they're underground. A lot of the time throughout the summer, they're safe in their subterranean burrows where they can stay moist and they won't dry out in the heat of the summer. So we've got to catch them on their way to their breeding pools on a nice rainy night in the early spring. Oh, check it out. This is a Helgramite. These guys are kind of nasty. They'll bite you if you give them the chance. Those big black jaws up here. Check those out. This little guy is actually the larva of a Dobson fly, which with its wings would probably extend about that long. These guys are cool. A lot of people use these guys as fishing bait, but what we're gonna do with this guy is just put it right back here in the water. There you go, pal. Oh, check out that little bullfrog hanging out down in there. We see a lot of these guys out here in the swamp at night. The thing is, when you shine your bright light at them, it kind of blinds them and makes them freeze. So, other than checking them out just real briefly, I don't like to blind them too much. All right, now we're going to walk down the road between the forest and the swamp to see if we can find any of the amphibians crossing to get into the swamp tonight. All right, now this never gets old to me. I've seen lots of these spotted salamanders, but they're just so cool. They're very large. You can see right next to my hand here just how big this guy is. I don't like to handle them a lot, just because they do rely on that mucous membrane to breathe and I don't want to dry them out with my hands. But these guys are one of my favorite things to see in the spring and probably one of the main reasons why I'll come out on a rainy night just to check out some of the amphibians. Now spotted salamanders aren't the only thing that's going to be moving around during a rain in the spring. The little bullfrogs and many other species that live in the area can also be found cruising around on rainy nights. All right, let's get him. A little guy. Oop, there he goes. You get a better look at him. It's the Northern Spring Peeper. It's a very small species of tree frog. Very teeny. These guys are really cute. They're just starting to call here now. So we're hoping in the next week or two we can get a full on peeper chorus. Look how teeny that little guy is. Oh, there's another one. Hey, guy. Now, normally, if we were out on a road that saw a lot of heavy traffic, I would hurry this guy along to the other side, but since we're on a road that sees virtually no traffic at all, I think this guy's pretty safe just where he is. Oh God, they are everywhere tonight, aren't they? Check this one out, look at his spots. He's got two here and one here, and a whole bunch of little ones here. 
These guys are really cool because their patterns are all so variable. I've even seen some that don't even have spots. Maybe we'll get to see some of those tonight too. Whoa, check this one out. Look at his spots. These are big spots. You're a handsome devil. Check you out. Oh, could I be wrong? This one looks like it's a girl, oh, yeah. actually. Go, go. Oh, she is scared of me. There she goes. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed our video for early spring herping. Uh, be sure to check us soon at camochairproductions.com for more herping, hunting, and fishing videos. Thanks for watching. Yeah.